So, you want to adjust normals for VTubing? Not a problem. Now, originally this tutorial was so short that I wasn't gonna cover it, but the members and patrons really voted in favor of making it anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, when Yuli was showing me how to do all this stuff, I thought that there was just one way to shade the face. But what I found out is that the type of shading depends on the purpose of the character. When you are making an anime character for a game or a cutscene, then the character is always moving around and the direction of light is always different. So, it's important to have smooth normals from all directions. However, for VTubing, the character often stays put, is always facing the same direction, and the light source never changes, which generally means that the face only has two possible states of shadows. It's either lit or it's not. I believe this is also how they shade the faces in Ruby. Now it looks like they use a funny flat proxy approach, but as usual, Yuli has a much easier way. So here we go. Go to edit mode and turn on your normals, and highlight a face near the top of the forehead that is angled forward and up. In the normal menu, go to copy vector, then highlight all the areas for the front of the head, and paste vectors. You're done. Congratulations! You can now be a VTuber. And your face normals will always be lit for the maximum bright cuteness. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.